Uh, so, Tom, tell me uh, about where we are right here. Okay, we're directly below my bedroom, my, mine and my wife's bedroom, and those that bank of meters is directly under her side of the bed, because our bed is right there. And let's take a look at the measurements that we're getting off of these uh, this bank of smart meters. I have two attenuators on my uh, high-frequency analyzer, meaning that the, uh, the um, readout is now in microwatts per centimeter squared. This is uh, the unit that the FCC uses. Uh, their limit is 580. I'm measuring uh, pulses or peaks. I'm not doing time averaging. It's obvious that these pulses are happening quite often. And they are a mixture of ones in the 30 to 40, 90, 60, 40 uh, range. There was 162. And the pulses are happening quite often. Is, is it not true that if you stood here long enough, eventually you would have enough of them fire at the same time that it would produce a really big pulse? Well, that's a kind of question that remains unanswered. That's the kind of testing and uh, assessment that was never done by PG&E or any of uh, their um, subsidiaries and uh, about two feet away. Okay, Tom, so tell me about what we've got right in here, outside. We're on the other side of the wall we were just looking at. That vent is above the, right above the big bank of meters that we were just looking at. And right above that is our bedroom window. Okay. And about three feet in from there is where my wife sleeps. So what I'm, what I'm measuring here is how much are we getting on the other side of this wall? And although we, I can see the, the spikes, they're much reduced. And I'm not, in my other meter, I'm, I'm hardly getting a blip. That means there's a lot, a lot of uh, this, this earth that's around the building is actually uh, shielding it. Uh, it appears to me quite well, you know, cutting down on... Um, how much is actually coming out of the building. So if it's not coming out this way, let's go upstairs and see if it's coming yeah. out your way. Yeah. You... We're, we're upstairs in Tom's apartment here. What, what have we got? Your, your bedroom, right? This is the bedroom, and okay. right below that window is where we just were outside in the banks. The uh, meters are directly below you right now. Okay, so we're just going to put this on the floor for a while, and... Uh, just read what's coming through. There's 15. And you can obviously you can hear the clicks. And they're just as often up here as they are down there, because it's this, you know it's the same number of pulses. There's a little a uh, little bit of attenuation, a little bit of shielding from the floor. But it's amazing how much is coming through. I mean uh, they tested some uh, some mice, they gave uh, one group uh, sham radiation, one group pulsed radiation and one group continuous field radiation. The one that had the most biological effect was the pulsed radiation. I'm going to orient this a little bit more like this. Um, yeah, see, I've, once I change the orientation towards the bank of meters, then I get uh, a little bit higher. 36, yeah, did you 36, see that? Yeah. So your wife sleeps in this uh, portion right of the bed? There. Yeah. And she has... Uh, wakeful sleep. Um, she dreams weird, violent dreams a lot of times all night. And not very restful. Not 
not restful at all. There's yeah. 20. Yeah. I was just saying, I, I studied physics in college for over a year, and uh, but seeing it, seeing the theory in practice here, seeing it really, what really happens with these fields is, is pretty amazing and kind of scary a little bit. We're on the other side of, of the bed, and uh, it's quite active over here, probably because of reflectivity off of the far wall. Also, uh, the meters are aimed out towards this spot. Uh, I've got one attenuator on the more sensitive setting, so I'm um, just going to read it off. These are microwatts per meter squared. That was uh, 2,000, 2,200, 1,900, 3,000, 2,900, 4,000. Uh, so these are nearly continuous pulses over here. And so even if you were to switch sides of the bed in a pinch, you've still got strong fields all throughout the room. I'm not sure if this, if this side isn't worse. Yes, it, it's worse on the floor, and uh, you might have some uh, reflectivity from the wall that's just down below. That's right here. Now we're in a little flurry there. So, you know, people live in, in places like this. All over California apartment buildings have these kinds of arrangements. Somebody lives over the meters. Somebody lives beside the bank of meters. So at any rate, even if this is within uh, the so-called safe levels established by our wonderful government, this is something I would not be experiencing were it not for these meters. This this is no this this level of radiation would not exist if I didn't have these meters below my bed. Well, it's disturbing. Uh, it basically confirms my fears uh, from when I discovered the smart meters right below us, which was a month and a half ago or so. I didn't know they were there, had no idea, and, and then all of a sudden I got into that room for something, some other reason, and I found all these smart meters and I started to put two and two together. My wife's sleep has been really disturbed for the last, I don't know how long, few months maybe. And uh, now I know why. We're guinea pigs. We're guinea pigs in an experiment uh, that's not really being kept track of by the experimenters. Do you think you'll be forced to move ultimately? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, uh, I wish we could afford to move right now. I wish, as you know, moving itself is very expensive. So I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what I'm going to tell my wife when she comes home. Uh, this is going to freak her out. It's going to freak her out. If you could tell pg e one thing, what, what, what would it be? Uh, I don't want to be a part of your experiment. That's, that's what I would say. I don't want to be a part of your experiment. And, and your experiment is unethical at, the, at its very foundation. You should have told us, first of all. You should have told us they were being installed. You should be telling people much more detail about what exactly these things do, what exactly they're being exposed to.